You're going to Hollywood. Katie, always have something very interesting to say. What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the channel where I'm very excited today to do my first American Idol brand new season um, analysis video. Now, I really, 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 really hope that this makes it because last year um, the producers of the show blocked all my videos worldwide, which was really a shame because I used to do Idol analysis all the time and it was fine. So I don't know. Let's see. Obviously, if you're watching this, then it made it through. So yay. <laughs> so we're going to check out a guy called Aji. Um, his audition in front of Luke, Katie and Lyle. Um, yeah, I watched it and I thought it was interesting. I recently did an analysis on Teddy Swim's song Lose Control, which you can click on the pop out banner up here to, to check that out. Um, because that is the song that Aji chose to sing for the judges. So let's see how that went. Who are you? My name is Aji Hafiz. I am from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm 27 years old. What do you do in Brooklyn? I work at, at a nursing home. I'm oh, like, cool. I'm the front desk slash like security slash intaker. Cool. I just protect the building basically. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love everybody there. My coworkers got me to do this, you know. Really? So, shout out Claire. <laughs> How did Claire know you could sing? I work the night shift, so no one's there. So I'm just singing down the hallways, and she heard it, and she was like, dude, what are you doing here? Hey, sometimes that's all it, that's all it takes. Yeah. I got an old college roommate. Oh, Claire. Like, what are you doing? Right. Get out of here. Uh, right. You got to keep those people close, man. That's smelling good, Habibi. Throw some magical powers in that top cheese, B. Growing up in Brooklyn, New York, you're exposed to so many beautiful genres of music. You know, I'm auditioning for American Idol, right? Do it. Fingers crossed, man. My family didn't have the means to music school or anything like that, so my hometown was my teacher. Everyone is a musician, an artist, and being surrounded by it made me keep doing what I'm doing now. Tell me about your folks. Uh, mom and pops, they did, they did right by me and my brothers, man. You know, I'm grateful for them. They still working, hard working. I'm here today making them proud. Both my parents immigrated from Pakistan. They came out Pakistan. here with nothing. They would show me, just chase whatever you want to do. For them, it was to make sure we had a great life. I pray for you. You're successful. Wish yes. you good luck for everything. Yeah. I'm really proud of you. You are come to be a American Idol. Yes, yes. Inshallah. Inshallah. Don't cry, man. <laughs> uh, what are you going to sing? Lose Control by Teddy Swims. Yeah. Perfect. Uh -huh. I really love that one. Something's got a hold on me lately. No, I don't know myself anymore. Hallelujah. <laughs> it feels like the walls are all closing in, and the devil's knocking at my door. Whoa, whoa. Out of my mind, how many times did I tell you I'm no good at being alone? It's taking a toll on me Trying my best to keep from tearing the skin off my bones mm. Let me just stop there quickly Yeah, cool guy. You know American Idol They love doing the story the backstory um, But that's part of what the show is about Some people hate it. Some people love it. I think it's interesting to hear where people come from um, oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes it's people who, like RG here, who just, you know, it's just a regular guy from 
Pakistan heritage, living in Brooklyn, doing all the Brooklyn talk and the accent and everything. Um, just loves his family, just loves his life. Somebody told him, who works with him, hey, you should go, man. You know, it's so, we love a rags to riches story. We love an underdog story because it says something about the human spirit of like fighting for what you want, um, dreaming big, you know, overcoming stuff. So I love showing the stories when I talk about these singers um, because I think it informs us. Now, um, what I heard so far was a real raw talent, if you want to call it that. Just a guy who clearly has a, has a voice. I think he chose the right song so far um, because he's able to make that kind of sound. I think probably he's, he's not mimicking. That's not the right word. Probably he is copying Teddy Swims' sound a little bit. So if he keeps journeying in, in American Idol, he might really discover his own sound. I'm not sure. I can't be sure. It's the only thing I've ever heard him sing. Can't be sure that that is really his sound. But I think he's just got such great musical instincts. Like his ears are so good that he's just so good at singing the song the way he learnt it from the original artist. So it sounds raw. It sounds not trained, which makes sense if you listen to the story. Um, but I think what, what gets me in a good way so far is his unassuming just passionate he's just he's doing his hands and his body everything is involved and it seems really authentic to me so i'm liking that don't you know i lose control when you're not next to me he's a bit ahead of the beat yeah I'm falling apart right in front of you. Can't you see? I lose control when you're not here with me. Mm. Yeah, I'm breaking my heart, baby. You make a mess of me. <laughs> nice, yeah. Uh, he sings it in A flat uh, major. I think I can't remember what Teddy's key was. It might be the same, but this is. Um, I think this is maybe a step lower. But anyway, no. Look, he he chose the right song. Like I said, he loves the song. He knows the song well. I can tell that. Um, yeah, and he, he sang the whole thing, you know. Um, when I said that he was ahead of the beat, you know, some people's musicality, most people's musicality, is either rhythmically dominant or melodically dominant. That's what I found, uh, you know, over 30 years of working with uh, singers, people's voices. Um, so when people is melodically dominant, then they have to work a little bit harder to stay exactly in the beat. Um and if people are rhythmically dominant, like me, then I have to work harder to make sure that I get the melodic right to so the pitch. Of course, the more you develop your skill and the more time you spend doing this kind of thing, the better both of those things get. Um, but for somebody raw like this, I think it's clear to me that he's melodically dominant. He knows exactly where the pitch needs to be. And he goes there, not with skill, with instinct. Um, but I think the fact that he's so unassuming, um, so just himself and authentic, I think that is the thing that is translating at the moment. Why the judges are standing up? Let's hear what they said. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I didn't expect that to get up. Yo, Fred. Fred, let's go. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it's funny. Today has been a whirl. Wind, literally a whirlwind <laughs> of people, of talent. You come in, a G, and you're the G of today for sure. The sure. G. Let's go. <laughs> Look, what you're giving us is raw. Yep. 
but it's that diamond in the rough stuff. This is why we do this show, is people like you. Yep. Period, yeah. end of story. Yeah. Thank you. You had me on your opening note. I know. I, mean, I saw Katie's arm, the, the chill bumps went. Look oh. at his lip quivering. <laughs> you are a light. Everything you do is so real. That's Lionel Richie talking to you. <laughs> yeah, it's I, it's, it's so fresh that you're not trying to come out here being like somebody else. And it's so infectious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. And it's a beautiful, I agree. wonderful sight and sound to hear. I'm speechless right now. I mean, you left that oval and you took <laughs> two steps to us. And man, you sing like it's all on the line. You just let it come from your soul mm. and fly out. And you've got this humility about mm -hmm. you. Love it. <laughs> humility. And, you know, you need to understand, you got a big chance of going pretty far in this competition. Top 10. Let's do it. Top 10. Let's fall off. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Welcome to the family, man. It's a yes. Let's go. Let's go. That's Lionel. Lionel just said yes. <laughs> Lionel just said yes. <laughs> Katie? Ah, uh, G. Yeah? Welcome to the family. <laughs> it's a yes from me. Thank you, Katie. Wow. It's a yes from me. She's a poet. Hey, Somebody, guess what? Somebody pinch me, bro. <laughs> You're, You're going, going to Hollywood. Hollywood. Katie, always have something very interesting to say. Um, yeah, so Luke mentioned the humility, which was what I referred to, unassuming, you know, humble, just being himself. He's working hard. <laughs> the quivering lip shows you that this is a massive moment. I mean, it will be for anybody. Hello. If I've had to do something like this, I'm sure it'll be tough for me. No, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think a prediction of top 10 is a little bit over the top. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but yeah, I think that that joy, that raw, unassuming, I've said that word too many times now, but that raw, unassuming, just, yeah, joy is infectious. And I think if he can work a little bit, if they can work a little bit with his voice, there are, of course, vocal coaches on the show, etc then maybe maybe you could go far so i wish him all the best thank you so much for spending the time with me i hope that you enjoyed it and until next time please take care of yourself just before you go let me just remind you that you can actually book a session with me a one-on-one -on -one through my patreon you can go there and check it out um, or you can send me a message through the website and then also if you want to chat with me why not visit our Discord server? The links to all of that is in the description below.